friends, and welcome to another video. This week, we're going to be taking on another strange fashion item, and this time, it's a jacket. Previously, we've tried the Tiva Uggs, the Clear Knee Mom Jeans, that one band ruffle t-shirt, the clear pants, and the hairy chest swimsuit. It's fall, it seems appropriate that a jacket would pop up right about now, and uh, oh, it has. So I found this jacket on my Twitter feed, and I thought it was pretty much one of the strangest things that I'd ever seen. I then found out that it was $700, which didn't make me happy, but I thought we had to try it anyway, and maybe if we can get through the week without ruining it, we can return it at the end. Now this jacket is from a company called Y Project. They're also the originators of the diaper jeans, the double jeans, I believe, and I'm sure a couple other ones. They're just having a good time designing things that nobody wants, but everyone wants to talk about. So besides Twitter, other news outlets have also picked up this jacket a little bit. Here's the denim jacket with sleeves that reach your knees that you've always wanted. You didn't need to use your hands, did you? Is this the world's dumbest fashion statement? Perhaps. Okay, let's bring it out. Oh. <laughs> All right, here it is. Looks normal, looks normal, but wait, wait. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I can show you guys what it looks like actually sitting down. I think I gotta hold it up. <laughs> I have some concerns right off the bat. Mostly I'm just nervous about using my hands. Also maybe dragging on the ground, getting it dirty. People literally thinking I'm Slender Man, but I'm honestly kind of excited. There's a lot of arm, there's a lot of arm. I will say that I already can't use my hands. I noticed that my fly was like slightly unzipped in the back. Game over, yeah. I thought about it and I couldn't do anything about it. Like my hands are here, by the way. I don't know about wearing it all week, like trying to actually do things, because it feels like actually these could almost be hazards in terms of like hitting people or maybe getting caught in car doors. Yeah, you're gonna get dragged. I feel dramatic. Or I feel a little bit like a rhythmic gym gymnast. You know, I'm like got ribbons. I also kind of feel like my own like personal space designator. I'm just like, don't come near me. I mean, to be honest, I don't get it, but it is kind of fun. All right, let's do it. I'm trying to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> so day one, I tried to style the jacket as closely to the pictures on the Net-A-Porter website as I could. Can you reach me from here? They had basically a matching pair of wide leg jeans and a white button down and like white boots on. And I actually found a pair of jeans that pretty closely matches this denim, but it's not really wide leg. In fact, it's quite skinny. I do like the idea that my pants look like my sleeves. They have photos of the sleeves long and also scrunched up. I think when it's scrunched up, it just feels like I'm not committing. You know what I mean? Like I need to commit but I think it's natural state is when it's like completely unfurled. Do I look like a shady character in this alley? I would not want to run into you in this alley. There's definitely something fun about it, but your hands do turn into giant blubbering mittens. So that's just something to think about before you try and do anything or pick anything up. Hand sanitizer, don't need that. No, you got giant napkins on your hand. See, this is a way to enjoy both the jacket and your hands at the same time. Almost like a cape. I feel kind of like Anna Wintour. Get me Lagerfeld. Yeah, it is a little um, Devil Wears Prada. Don't you know everything you wear has been picked by us in this room? Day two, I wore the jacket with a gray wide leg jumpsuit, which ended up being pretty much the same length as the sleeves of the jacket. So it was almost like I was just wearing like one block of clothes. Yeah, I'm kind of like trying to like pass a high school dress code. Like my skirt has to be longer than my fingertips. We went out to dinner in the jacket, which made me a little nervous because food definitely seems like enemy number one in the quest to return this. I can use my jacket like an oven mitt. Can you see? That's amazing. So I'm holding my hot plate just normally. Now I gotta eat it though. That's the next challenge. But actually pizza was kind of okay. Oh, maybe I don't need Tyler's help. I had a little more control than I anticipated over like the pincing action. I'm able to kind of like clasp it like a little pincer with my thumb. Can't use much of my thumb in these, but a little bit of the thumb. Strangely, I would say that eating with the sleeves pushed up made me more anxious because I was nervous that the sleeves would unfurl into the food. Almost like your hair, you know what I mean? Like when you lean down into it. No one wants that. Yeah. Another potential hazard is escalators. You got clearance. Very close. You better be careful. What about this much left? We do not want to get your jacket stuck in the actual escalator. The emergency plan is to leave the jacket. But then you think about all that money. 
In general, I would say there are more snagging hazards than one would anticipate. You just gotta be careful out there. I'm gonna straight jacket him for now. That'd be, have to, it would have to be one of the dumbest ways you could die. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got sucked in. Yeah, that would be one of the dumbest ways you could tell. Filming somebody wearing that jacket. <laughs> so day three, I went for a more casual recreational look. I took the jacket to see a friend. I'm trying to study the craft to see what he does, which direction he goes in. It's hard. It's hard work. Also, that guy literally came back and he was like, oh, you're a new worker? Nice. And then walked away. That's pretty tough work, to be honest. Yeah, no, I, I don't envy him. Um, he does, however, have like a full cylindrical tubular body. I only have sleeves. I'm not saying that I'm good enough to be hired, but I'm definitely good enough to do it for free. So while I'm still training, I thought I'd do some pro bono work outside of some, you know, dealerships that need some help. In general though, if you don't have to do anything specific, like eat or be perceived as a normal human, this jacket's pretty amusing. That's not enough sleeve. That is not enough. Sleep. It's kind of like a sexless adult toy. I'm Edward Denim Hands. Just hours of fun by yourself. I do have a fun little dramatic flair. I smacked the camera. I'm dangerous. Day four is when tragedy struck. I went online to see the net porter listing for this jacket just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I saw that they changed their marketing photos to feature only the jacket with those sleeves scrunched up or folded up like inside out. There were no longer any photos of it au naturel. So even though it killed me, I decided to style it like they recommended and folded the sleeves inside out to curb its natural enthusiasm. I can pick stuff up and I don't like it. I would rather roll them up like I've kind of been doing, like, you know, kind of push them up. Well, with the scrunching, you can still reveal the sleeve. You can unfurl. We're so far from the sleeve right now. I feel like if you bought this jacket from their photos, expecting it to be almost like a two-tone denim jacket and you got this, you would be shocked. I don't think that it was ever worth $700, but without the sleeves, it's definitely not worth $700. At least with this, I get like two extra feet of denim to smack with. I'm trying to have fun, but there's no fun to be found. Why? I was honestly surprised that they bailed on their long sleeves so quickly. I think it's because they got so much crap for the jacket, they started trying to sell it as something more normal. On the website, they state that Y Project is going for an exaggerated, oversized silhouette, which has been featured on high fashion runways over the last couple of years. But the question of why still remains. I have a few of my own theories. There is something about the sleeves that make me feel like a little girl or like I'm wearing something like super oversized, like, oh, my boyfriend's jacket, you know, it's just so big on me but impractically exaggerated silhouettes have popped up at different times throughout history, usually to connote social status. For example, in 18th century France, extravagantly wide-hipped dresses called peniers were worn to show how much fabric and tailoring the wearer could afford, and their difficulty to walk in also demonstrated the wearer's lack of need to be mobile. Another example from the other side of the world comes from China, where exceptionally long pinky fingernails were grown by nobility to show that the wearer's hands were too fancy for manual labor. Whether or not this jacket is meant to have a similar connotation is unclear. I'm not sure this denim look shouts fancy in today's world. What I will say is that what it lacks in practicality, it certainly makes up for with fun, but it needs that exaggerated silhouette and sleeves unfurled to do it. So sorry, Netta Porter, but the folded up look ain't flying with me. Day five, I let the jacket back out of the bag and I took it on a little makeup excursion to Disneyland. I'm actually pretty sure I can reach the water in Snow White's well. <laughs> Did you see that? In general, it was really fun. It was nighttime, so I don't think anyone was really giving my jacket a second look. You know, part of being at Disneyland is like people are kind of like wearing merch, you know, like they're like wearing their character stuff. So like, could be like, oh, what character are you? Ursula's eels? Oh, same. I was interested to see though, how the jacket would do on a roller coaster. So we went on Splash Mountain. To be honest, I was like kind of nervous about that, but we survived, the jacket survived. And um, for the first time in my life, I bought a ride photo at Disneyland. I like it because I kind of put my arms up a little too late for the pictures. So the ends have become a little flaccid. And 
My return tag is still on. Thankfully, there weren't that many people at the park, so we had a log all to ourselves, and we also had a lot of the park to ourselves. You have full radius of that thing. We're gonna get banned from Disneyland for life. You know, I know they've banned selfie sticks from Disneyland. I feel like they're gonna now ban this jacket specifically. The one jacket. It honestly went pretty well with the happiest place on earth vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the moment when I thought I would be stuck on the carousel forever. Wait. <laughs> I got nervous for a second. I was like, I'm really going down with this ship. Day six, I took my jacket to a more formal situation. I tried to kind of dress it up. You know, I was saying like, what can you wear with this Slender Man jacket to dress it up? And I was like, giant pants. It's the double negative outfit. Exactly. It's like, which one's worse? <laughs> We met up with Christine and Ben from Simply Neological at a like pre-streamies event. Oh, yeah. uh, she oh, sees she us. Sees us. Oh, she sees us. Oh, I don't think she's ready for this. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 We're shaking hands, but you can't see. Very normal. It's like a Chinese finger trap. Christine and Ben actually didn't seem to mind the jacket that much. Yeah, what do you think of it, Ben? I, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> and in general, I would say that the event was a pretty good place for the jacket. These were made for the red carpet, Soph. These are the carpet in themselves. <laughs> There were a lot of dancing opportunities, which besides outside of a used car lot, I hadn't done much of this week. It's got a mind of its own. It's like a rave shirt. If I ever get invited to a rave, I shall wear it. In fact, I think the dance floor might be this jacket's true natural habitat. You just have to make sure that nobody else really also wants to dance because you need some room. <laughs> I don't know if anyone was looking. I was more involved in like dancing. I was doing a lot of- uh, Yeah, they were looking away. Rolling. So I don't know how other people were reacting to be honest. Christine and Ben were less weirded out than I thought they would be. I can't take it off myself. <laughs> I'm never getting this jacket back. I don't know if it's worth $700, but I'm gonna have a hard time parting with it. So on day seven, I wore this so-called ugly jacket with a selection of my other so-called ugly items. I haven't worn some of these in a while. I'm kind of feeling uh, some familiar caresses of my body, you know? They know my curves. When your sleeves are down, it draws your attention downward, and then you see the clearly mom jeans, and then you see the ugliest shoes. It's just like the outfit that keeps on giving. There is something very liberating about looking like an idiot. I feel also a little bit like a mother duck, and I've got all my little like ducklings under my wing. I'm like protecting them. I don't think I'm gonna be winning any fashion awards for this look, but it was nice to have the family all together again. My sleeves ate my sunglasses. So it's like actually really hot out here, especially with all of our other stuff. So I'm gonna tie this around my waist. And just so you guys know, this is how you have to do it. You have to loop them and then tie them in the back. I don't think anyone else was enjoying my outfit, but my only regret was wearing the hairy chest swimsuit like a leotard because it got a tad swampy down there. Okay, so that was my week wearing the Y Project oversized denim jacket. I would say that this jacket is not something I would wear casually. In fact, it's pretty difficult to style. It looks kind of stupid. Like you don't really look like a human. You look more like a squid or any number of other different things. But if you're not concerned about how this jacket looks at all, this jacket is very enjoyable. I still think it's crazy that this jacket costs $700. It is just kind of like an avant-garde fashion look that's popped up in real life. But who knows? You might be able to earn some of the money you spent on this jacket you know, doing some work outside of a, a car dealership. If this jacket were cheaper, I would be an advocate for this jacket. As is, I would say probably don't buy it. But I would also say to Y Project, don't let the haters get you down. Don't change your marketing photos. You do you. As for me, the tags are still on. So we'll see if after this video is uploaded, if they'll still let me try and return it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. 
Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next feed. I do a lot of daily blogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Mabel for watching. Thanks for watching Mabel and I will see you guys a next time.